chronic stress or toxic stress is not, is not the same. And that's not, you know, so what happens here is when you have all these life events bombarding you and you can't shut it off. And that adrenaline is still pumping. And you can't lower that heart rate down. And what it can lead to is this internal distress, impairment, misconduct, where we have you know, difficulty with our members and we have no behavioral health program in place so we can't do anything to help them, substance abuse, mental disorder, and worse. So there's, there's a key distinction between chronic stress and PTSD. Um, just, just as a point of, of, of note, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, has to start with a trauma. So it, it has to start with a life, a, a life-threatening event, where chronic stress could be just all the crap that you have in your life, uh, just overwhelming you, and you could never feel relief from it. So one of the causes of stress injury uh, is that life threat we just talked about. Uh, and that life threat can lead to PTSD. Not all um, you know, life threats are going to lead to PTSD. As a matter of fact, most will not. Uh, but a, a, what, what has been recognized is early intervention to those, uh, to those events. So if we can calm someone down early on, so if they have this life-threatening event, and you just think you know, it could be a car accident or um, you know, a hurricane that, that affects them where they're uh, in the civilian world uh, where it's life-threatening or a life-threatening work event as a firefighter or an EMS personnel. If we can calm them down early on, the likelihood of them getting PTSD, and this is means just like sitting with them, chatting with them, uh, making them comfortable, making them feel safe, the likelihood for PTSD is greatly reduced, greatly reduced later on. That early intervention, that follow-up, you know, two days down the road, a week down the road, just a simple intervention there greatly reduces the chances of PTSD. 